the caduceus is a powerful and iconic symbol recognized worldwide for its association with medicine and healing. With its intertwined serpents and wings atop a staff, the caduceus has a rich history dating back to ancient civilizations, particularly in the Mediterranean region. However, the symbolism and interpretation of the caduceus are multifaceted, often leading to misconceptions. This essay delves into the history and diverse interpretations of the caduceus, exploring its significance in the domains of health, commerce, symbolism, and mythology. The caduceus finds its roots in ancient Greece, where it was associated with the god Hermes, known as Mercury in Roman mythology. Hermes was a deity of multifaceted talents, embodying attributes of communication, commerce, and healing. The caduceus was his divine symbol, a staff entwined with two serpents and adorned with wings. In Greek mythology, the staff symbolized Hermes' role as a messenger between the divine and mortal realms. The serpents, often interpreted as symbols of rejuvenation and transformation, signify the dual nature of life and death. The wings on the staff symbolize swiftness, perhaps representing the rapidity with which messages could travel between realms. Hermes Caduceus was also associated with diplomacy, making it an emblem of peaceful resolution and compromise. The Latin Caduceus comes from Greek Kerukeion, meaning herald's wand or staff, itself derived from Kerux, meaning messenger, herald, envoy. According to the legend, Hermes, or Mercury, wanted to stop a fight between two snakes, and so he threw his rod at them. Originally, the caduceus was represented as an olive branch with garlands or ribbons, but it was later interpreted as a rod with two snakes and a pair of wings as a representation of Hermes' speed. Both Hermes and Mercury are identified as messengers of gods. Mercury is considered the god of messengers, merchants, and travelers. It is also the patron and protector of thieves and outlaws. As such, the caduceus symbol is also linked to these negative characters. Neither god has anything to do with medicine, so their figure is not a desirable protector of physicians, despite its ancient and consistent positive associations with eloquence, negotiation, alchemy, and wisdom. Early use in a possible medical context. Before the ancient Romans and Greeks, all the representations from Syria and India of sticks and animals looking like serpents or worms are interpreted by some as a direct representation of traditional treatment of Dracunculiasis, the Guinea worm disease. Dracunculus medinensis, little dragon from Medina, was described in Egypt as early as the 15th century before Common Era, and possibly was the fairy serpent afflicting the Israelites described in the Bible. Because of their impatience while eating manna in the desert, they were punished by God with a bite of poisonous snakes. In the Bible, the serpent possessed a double balance, an ambiguous aspect between the symbolic values of life and death, fruitfulness and temptation. Moses had a staff with a twisted bronze serpent endowed with such powers that it could restore life to the dying. He worked as a mediator that saves from evil and danger, restoring life to those about to lose it. While there is ample historical evidence of the use of the caduceus to represent Hermes or Mercury, and by extension commerce and negotiation, early evidence of any symbolic association between the caduceus and medicine or medical practice is scarce and ambiguous. This concept is likely linked to the alchemical universal solvent, Azoth, the symbol of which was the caduceus. Early association of the caduceus with medicine might have derived from the association of Hermes Trismegistus, thrice great Hermes, with early chemistry and medicine as aspects of alchemy as an esoteric practice. 
The same staff was used by other eras like Iris or Iris, the messenger of Hera. It was entwined by two serpents, sometimes surmounted by wings. In Roman iconography, it was depicted being carried in the left hand of Mercury, the messenger of the gods. The caduceus became a symbol of alchemy and pharmacy in medieval Europe. Its first appearance as a medical symbol can be traced back to 1st to 4th century common era in oculist stamps that were found mostly in Celtic areas such as Gaul, Germany and Britain. It had an engraving of the name of the physician, the name of the special medicine or medical formula and the disease for which the medicine was to be used. Medieval alchemy used the caduceus to represent preparations containing quicksilver, later known as mercury. Quicksilver, named Mercurius Philosophorum, was believed to be the basis of all substances, and this element has been represented by the caduceus for many centuries. Medieval alchemists found parallels in the course of the soul through the unknown on its way to enlightenment and the path from unknown illnesses back to health and life. In the Middle Ages, the velvet-covered flower staff that was carried by heralds and kings of arms was called a caduceus. The caduceus' general meaning of peace is reinforced by the symbolism of its individual elements. Power for the staff, concord for the serpents, and solicitude for the wings. In heraldry, the caduceus can symbolize peace, communal happiness, fame, and eloquence. It was often assumed in the coat of arms by those who had entered into a truce or peace. In Rome, the caduceator was one who negotiated peace arrangements under the diplomatic protection of the caduceus he carried. The caduceus is also a symbol of printing, by extension of the attributes of Mercury associated with writing and eloquence. Based on medieval European use of the caduceus to signify pharmacy, a Bavarian printer used it in his medical manuscripts from 1486 Common Era. The personal physician to Henry VIII was the first physician to adopt it as his emblem. The road of Asclepius, in use since the 5th century Common Era, resurfaced in 1544 Common Era. A publication of the medical writings of Avicenna, a Persian physician, had it at the frontispiece. The caduceus also appears in a general medical context with Swiss medical printer Johann Frobenius, who depicted a staff entwined with serpents and surmounted by a dove with a biblical epigraph in Greek, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. In Great Britain, as late as 1854, the distinction between the rod of Asclepius and the caduceus as symbols of two very different professions was apparently still quite clear. Among the very old symbols still used in London at the time, which were based on associations between pagan gods and professions, we find Mercury, or his caduceus, indicating expedition and trade. Esculapius is serpent and staff for professions of the healing hearts. Beginning with the 16th century, there is limited evidence of the use of the caduceus in a medical context. The name of the god Mercury cannot be disassociated from the word Mercs, which means merchandise. Such was the sentiment of the ancients. His Latin name was apparently derived from Merx or Mercator, a merchant. The Homeric hymn to Hermes relates how his half-brother Apollo was enchanted by Hermes' music from his lyre, fashioned from a tortoise shell, which Hermes kindly gave to him. Apollo, in return, gave Hermes the caduceus, a golden wand, a splendid staff of riches and wealth, as a gesture of friendship in a settlement over a dispute. A scholar noted that the hymn to Hermes concludes with the negotiation which transforms a relation of incompatibility into a contracted alliance. 
The poem describes at some length Hermes' capacity for manipulating the material world, as well as the perceptions and emotions of its inhabitants. The association with the serpent thus connects Hermes to Apollo, as later the serpent was associated with Asclepius, the son of Apollo. In both stories, the rod plays an important role in settling the dispute between the two snakes in the myth, and between Hermes and Apollo in the hymn. The caduceus thus became the sign of concord and peace. Its ability to bring order and peace is one of its main features. Hermes is, perhaps, above all else, the patron of commerce and of the fat purse. He was the special protector of traveling salesmen. As such, he was revered by merchants embarking on uncertain commercial ventures abroad. Hermes was the primordial mediator, who, perhaps, could always find clever ways of reaching the middle ground, a consensus, between opposing points of view because he was a schemer. His wily ways and luck-bringing genius made him the patron of swindlers and thieves, and a patron of good fortune, unexpected piece of luck, lot and dice. The intertwining serpents might thus symbolize both the double-sided nature of business transactions and the balance required in commerce. Furthermore, the wings on the caduceus signify speed and agility in trade, emphasizing the importance of communication and quick exchange in economic activities. The fact that Hermes is also the patron of thieves swindlers and golden opportunity establishes an inherent and intrinsic relationship between the market, double dealing and commercial success. Market is a word that derives from Hermes' Roman equivalent, Mercury. The association of Apollo with the serpent is a continuation for the older Indo-European dragon slayer motive. The serpent might be an attribute of both Hermes and Asclepius, and a variant of the prehistoric semi-canonic serpent hero, known at Delphi as Python, who in classical mythology is slain by Apollo. The caduceus, with two serpents, also indicates the power to reconcile opposites, creating harmony between different elements, such as water, fire, earth, and air. This is why it recurs frequently in alchemy, as an indication of the synthesis of sulfur and mercury, as well as in the symbolism of pharmacopoeia and physical healing. A staff similar to the caduceus was displayed by heralds and ambassadors as symbol of their mediating function and as an emblem of their inviolability, and it also had a moral significance as it represented honest conduct and at the same time a person's physical health. As mentioned before, the staff had also been emblematic of Hermes Trismegistus, progenitor of the Egyptian art of magic, and represented the synthesis of universal knowledge, from religion, medicine, morality, philosophy, to science and mathematics. In Egyptian iconography, the jet pillar is depicted as containing a snake, in a frieze of the Dendera temple complex. Thus, through its use in astrology, alchemy, and astronomy, it has come to denote the planet Mercury and by extension its planetary metal. It is said that the wand would wake the sleeping and send the awake to sleep. If applied to the dying, their death was gentle. If applied to the dead, they returned to life. In some ancient vase paintings, depictions of the Greek Kerokeion are somewhat different from the commonly seen modern representations. These feature the two snakes atop the staff, or rod, crossed to create a circle with the heads of the snakes resembling horns. This old graphic form, with an additional crossbar to the staff, seems to have provided the basis for the graphical sign of Mercury, used in Greek astrology from late antiquity. Symbols similar to the classical caduceus sometimes appeared on Mesopotamian cylinder seals. Some accounts assert that the oldest image is found with the Sumerian god Lingishtida. His symbol, 
a staff with two snakes intertwined around it, dates back to 4000 to 3000 before Common Era. From this perspective, the Caduceus was originally representative of Hermes himself, in his early form as the underworld god, messenger of the earth, mother, an oriental deity of Babylonian extraction, represented in his earliest form as a snake god. The Caduceus also appears as a symbol on some coins of the Maurya Empire in India in the 3rd or 2nd century before Common Era. Numismatic research suggests that it was the symbol of the Buddhist king Ashoka. Symbolism The modern use of the Caduceus as symbol of medicine became established in the United States in the late 19th and early 20th century as a result of well-documented mistakes and misunderstandings of symbology and classical culture. Critics say the correct symbol for medicine is the rod of Asclepius, which has only one snake and no wings. It has represented medicine since 800 before Common Era, and most authorities support its use as the symbol of medicine. These symbols are often thought to have the following meanings. Healing. The Greeks regarded snakes as sacred and used them in healing rituals to honor Asclepius. Salvation. Around 1400 before Common Era, Moses used the bronze serpent on a rod to save his people from snakes sent by God as punishment. Whenever anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Immortality and transformation. In ancient Greece, the shedding of a snake's skin represented the slipping of the old self towards a newly healed self. It also symbolized rebirth and rejuvenation. Cure and recovery. A snake has the ability to change from a lethargic behavior to swift movement, denoting the power of recovering from an illness. The medicinal properties of snake venom also contributed to the use of this symbol in medicine. Peace and power. In Roman mythology, Mercury seized the fight between two serpents with his wand and brought restoration and peace between them. The rod represents power and unification, while the wings symbolize higher thoughts. Commerce and trade. The Caduceus is inherently a symbol of commerce and trade, aligning perfectly with Hermes' role as the patron of merchants and travelers. In this context, the intertwining serpents are often seen as a representation of duality, signifying both the buyer and the seller, the giver and the taker, or profit and loss. This duality underscores the essential balance required in economic transactions. In a world where global commerce relies on fast information exchange, the Caduceus is a symbol of expeditious borderless trade mirroring the contemporary interconnectedness of the global economy. Contemporary usage. Today, the Caduceus is still employed in various fields. In medicine, it continues to be mistakenly used as a symbol of health and healing in certain contexts, though the rod of Asclepius is a more accurate choice for this purpose. In the realm of commerce, financial institutions, banks and other businesses use the Caduceus to symbolize their commitment to efficient, swift, and secure transactions. Esoteric Symbolism of the Caduceus The esoteric symbolism of the Caduceus, often associated with spiritual and metaphysical interpretations, offers a deeper and more mystical perspective on this ancient symbol. Let's delve into its hidden meanings. Kundalini and Spiritual Awakening the intertwining serpents on the Caduceus are often seen as a representation of the Kundalini energy. It's a powerful, latent, spiritual force believed to reside at the base of the spine. The upward coiling of the serpents symbolizes the awakening of this energy, which rises through the chakras, leading to spiritual enlightenment and higher consciousness. The two serpents also represent the two channels on the left and the right side of the spine, Ida and Pingala, and the rod representing the Shushumna. 
unity of opposites. The caduceus can be interpreted as a symbol of the unity of opposites or dualities, a common theme in esoteric and alchemical teachings. The two serpents, often seen as opposing forces or polarities, are brought together in harmony on the staff. This represents the balance and union of opposing forces within the self, a crucial step on the path to spiritual growth and self-realization. Transmutation and Esoteric Healing In alchemical and esoteric traditions, the serpent is often associated with transformation and healing. The caduceus, with its serpents, can be seen as a symbol of the transformative journey of the soul, where inner healing and purification lead to metaphysical ascension and enlightenment. Divine Communication The caduceus can represent the communication between the conscious and subconscious mind. Hermes was a divine messenger, bridging the gap between the earthly and the divine. The caduceus can represent the potential for divine communication and revelation. These esoteric interpretations of the caduceus emphasize its significance in inner transformation, mystical evolution and the quest for higher consciousness. While it's widely recognized for its more conventional associations, it also carries a hidden layer of symbolism that aligns with the esoteric and metaphysical traditions of various cultures throughout history. In astronomy, astrology and alchemy, the caduceus is believed to have the following symbolism. It represents the elements of air, water, fire and earth. In the 16th century, the study of alchemy included metals, chemistry and medicine. The practitioners of the hermetic arts and alchemists believed that the caduceus symbolized the four elements, the wings for the air, the movement of serpents for the water, the snakes for the fire and the rod for the earth. In alchemy, the intertwined serpents also symbolize fertility. It also shows the physical and spiritual connection between masculine and feminine forces, and also represents the concept of yin and yang. In tarot, the caduceus symbol represents harmony and balance. The two serpents are intertwined, reminding us that even opposites are unified in some way. The symbol shows the importance of balancing the dualities, like sun and moon, good and evil, light and dark, life and death. According to theosophy, it may represent the following. Metaphysically, the caduceus represents the fall of primordial matter into gross terrestrial matter, the one reality becoming illusion. Astronomically, the head and tail represent the points of the ecliptic where the planets and even the sun and moon meet in close embrace. Physiologically, it's the symbol of the restoration of the equilibrium lost between life as a unit and the currents of life performing various functions in the human body. Its metaphysical meaning is further elaborated in Hindu teachings, where the trunk of the Aswatha, the tree of life and being, the rod of the caduceus, grows from and descends at the every beginning, every new Manvantara, from the two dark wings of the swan, Hansa, of life. The two serpents, the ever-living and its illusion, spirit and matter, was two heads grow from the one head between the wings, descend along the trunk, interlaced in close embrace. The two tails join on earth, the manifested universe, into one, and this is the great illusion, or Maya. Difference between the caduceus and the rod of Asclepius. The caduceus and the rod of Asclepius are two distinct symbols with different origins and associations, particularly in the realm of medicine. Here are the key differences between them. Origin and mythology. Caduceus. The caduceus has its origins in Greek and Roman mythology, where it was associated with the gods Hermes and Mercury. Hermes was a multifaceted deity known for his role as a messenger of the gods, and his attributes related to commerce, communication, and diplomacy. Rod of Asclepius. The Rod of Asclepius is directly connected to the Greek god Asclepius, who was revered as the god of medicine and healing. 
Asclepius was known for his ability to restore health and his association with the art of medicine. Symbols and depictions Caduceus The Caduceus is typically depicted as a staff or rod with two serpents coiled around it, often with wings attached at the top of the staff. This symbolizes Hermes' role as a messenger and reflects themes of balance and communication. Rod of Asclepius the Rod of Asclepius features a single serpent, sometimes depicted as a snake, coiled around a staff or rod without the wings. It represents healing, medicine, and the medical profession. Association with medicine Caduceus The Caduceus is not traditionally associated with medicine in its original symbolism. However, due to historical misunderstandings and mix-ups, it has been erroneously adopted as a medical symbol in some contexts, particularly in the United States. Rod of Asclepius The Rod of Asclepius is the true and ancient symbol of medicine, reflecting the healing arts and the medical profession. It is internationally recognized as a symbol of health and healing. Contemporary Usage Caduceus The Caduceus is often used in non-medical contexts, such as in the field of commerce, finance, and various commercial organizations. It is sometimes used on medical-related materials, but its use in medicine is considered a misinterpretation. Still, it can be seen in hospital coats, uniforms, brooches, and pins. Sometimes it's used as a symbol of identification for healthcare workers, with their initials incorporated into the symbol as well as the indication of their role as doctors, nurses, or emergency medical technicians. Given that the caduceus is primarily a symbol of commerce and other non-medical symbology, many healthcare professionals disapprove of this use. Rod of Asclepius The Rod of Asclepius remains the primary and accurate symbol for the medical profession and healthcare. It is commonly seen on medical badges healthcare facilities and other medical-related materials to symbolize healing and medicine. In summary, while the Caduceus and the Rod of Asclepius both have historical significance and symbolism, the key distinction lies in their origins and associations. Lesser known representations and symbols of the Caduceus. Sacred Geometry The Caduceus, when examined closely, reveals elements of sacred geometry. The intertwining of the two serpents can be seen as representing the caduceus-like pattern found in the DNA double helix, suggesting a connection between the symbol and the fundamental structure of life. Hermetic tradition and healing arts. In Hermeticism, the symbol is seen as an emblem of transformation and spiritual enlightenment, reflecting the concept of as above, so below, emphasizing the interconnectedness of the spiritual and material realms. In hermetic healing traditions, the caduceus is used to represent a holistic approach to health and well-being, emphasizing the unity of mind, body, and spirit. It serves as a reminder that true healing goes beyond physical remedies and incorporates the balance of all aspects of a person's being. Psychological Symbolism, Psychotherapy and Integration In the field of psychology, the caduceus has been interpreted as a symbol of inner healing and transformation. The serpents coiling around the staff can represent the integration and balance of the conscious and unconscious mind, leading to personal growth and self-realization. In the realm of psychotherapy, the caduceus can symbolize the process of psychological integration, where conflicting or opposing aspects of the self are reconciled and harmonized to promote mental and emotional health. Duality and polarity. The caduceus often represents the reconciliation of opposites or dualities. The serpents, which can be interpreted as masculine and feminine energies, life and death, or light and darkness, signify the harmonious union of these opposing forces, creating a state of balance and wholeness. Healing beyond medicine and mercury. The caduceus can also represent mental and emotional healing, highlighting the importance of balancing and harmonizing the mind and spirit for overall well-being. In ancient times, effective communication was seen as a form of healing, 
especially when delivering important news, which may have contributed to its association with medicine. Egyptian influence Some scholars believe that the Caduceus might have been influenced by ancient Egyptian symbols, particularly the Uraus, a cobra symbol often depicted on the headdresses of pharaohs. The Uraus was associated with divine protection and power, which could have contributed to the Caduceus symbolism of divine communication and protection. Cosmic harmony. Some interpretations suggest that the Caduceus symbolizes the harmony and balance of cosmic forces, reflecting the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. The staff represents the axis of the world, and the serpents illustrate the cosmic forces that flow through and around it. Rejuvenation and vitality. The Caduceus can be seen as a symbol of rejuvenation and the restoration of vitality. The serpents are often associated with renewal and the shedding of old worn out skin, symbolizing the potential for personal transformation and renewal. Meditation and inner exploration. In some esoteric practices, the Caduceus is employed as a meditation tool. Meditating on the symbol is believed to help individuals explore their inner world, achieve balance, and unlock hidden wisdom within. Economic transactions. The Caduceus is not only associated with the god Hermes, but also with commerce and trade. In addition to representing balance and diplomacy, it symbolizes the efficiencies of communication in commercial transactions, making it an emblem for business and finance. In conclusion, the Caduceus is a multifaceted symbol that carries a rich tapestry of meanings. It is a symbol of great depth and significance, encompassing a wide range of interpretations, from practical and alchemical transformations to mental and emotional healing. Its connections to various cultures, esoteric practices, and holistic approaches to well-being reveal the enduring relevance and adaptability of this ancient emblem. Its historical roots in Greek and Roman mythology, its misunderstood association with medicine, and its enduring significance in the world of commerce make it a symbol that continues to intrigue and provoke thought. Understanding the multifaceted nature of the Caduceus is essential to appreciate its historical significance and the varying roles it plays in different aspects of human life. Another thing to note is that the meanings of symbols are dynamic, changing with the times. They acquire new meanings and lose association with some meanings with the passage of time. At the end of the day, the meaning of a symbol is what is given to it. Whether using medicine or commerce, the Caduceus remains a symbol of balance communication and the duality of life and death, connecting the ancient past to the complexities of the modern world. The Caduceus enduring legacy is a testament to its timeless relevance in various facets of human life, from diplomacy and healing to communication and trade. What do you think the Caduceus represents? Let us know in the comments below, subscribe and share the video with anyone who might be interested in the lesser known stories and ideas of our world and beyond.